What's up everyone, Danny Line and back with another CSR2 video. Today we are checking out the brand new Elite Tuners car, the 2020 Corvette Stingray. This thing's very fast, it's very cool, it's got some crazy body kits and liveries and stuff like that, but we're going to do a stage 5 shift and tune, stage 6 shift and tune, we'll see if there's a live racing setup, and we'll do a review on the car, and I'll probably have something coming out about the event for this tomorrow. When the car is 100% maxed out, this is the way we're going to tune it. We are going to put our nitrous all the way to the right. Final drive, 2.0. Tire pressure, 8 PSI. That gives us a 7.018 on the dyno. Drive it, I think we want to get a perfect launch. Pretty much instantly shift into second. Hit your nitrous, all perfect shifts after that. Actually, very easy car to drive. Three, two, one, go. Second nitrous, third. I messed that up. I messed that up. But anyways, I totally messed that up. But the needle does kick back, right? The needle, you will get that needle kick back. And we still ran a 6.943, even though we screwed it up. So I shifted in the third gear a little bit too early, but it still ran a 6.9. It beat the dyno. This is a very fast car. Huge shout out to YouTuber Asho Speed the King. This video is brought to you by him, so make sure you check him out on YouTube. Link in the video's description. On stage five parts only, we're still going to keep the nitrous all the way to the right. Final drive 2.0 and tire pressure down at 8 psi. That's going to give it an 8.058 on the dyno for stage five. And we're going to go ahead and drive the car the same way. Basically let go of the gas a little bit after number one. The needle kicks back shortly after hit second nitrous and then all perfect shifts after that if possible. Three, two, one, go. Second nitrous, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear. And I didn't quite hit the perfect shifts. You really want to get perfects as po possible. But as long as they're close, you should still run a very good time. For example, on that one, we got a 7.957, which is not too bad with a car with like an eight point something on the dyno. All right, so now we're gonna do a low performance point high Evo tune live racing setup. This will allow you to win live races without having to beat the dyno, or at least it should. I can't test this out, but generally, not always, but 90% of the time, this type of tune will dominate live racing without beating the dyno. So once you get this car upgraded and Get all these uh, stars on it and stuff. Try this out. Currently, we have the engine on stock, turbo stock, in tank stock. Nitrous is on stage four. Body is on stage four. Tire stage four. Transmission is on stage five. And that gives us 2,250 Evo points and 650 on the performance points. So that is pretty awesome. To tune it like this, you're going to go ahead and put your nitrous at 150 and 1 1.5. Final drive at 2.05, tire pressure 8 PSI, and that's going to get us in the 9.990. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and change the transmission to 2.40, which is going to give us a dyno time of a 10.190. That way we get into the 10.2 lobby. So let's go ahead and do a test run on this. We're going to, we're going to do a very basic shift pattern. Just let go of the gas exactly at number one nitrous on second you can try nitrous on third if you want three two one go second nitrous third fourth gear and try and get really close to perfect shifts if you can and that should get us really really close to a 10.2 if you hit nitrous on third maybe it'll run a little faster but i've been playing around with this live racing setup and it's a little bit weird but this will probably do pretty good in live racing once you get all the purple stars on here. Set it up like this, try it out, see how it works. It's a very cool car. All right, so let's do a little review on this car. So it's got great top speed, it's got great acceleration. It's an all around awesome car, it's fast. It probably does well at live racing. I mean, it's got a low performance point high Evo tune. You can beat the dyno on stage five. You can beat the dyno on stage six. It's a cool car. Only thing is, it is an elite tuner's car. So if you want to max it out, you got to get all the elite tokens and get this thing up to level 35. And eventually this car becomes crazy good. So bottom line, it's a very nice car. It can easily beat the Tempest races. It can easily beat all of the bosses as long as you get enough upgrades on it. I like this one. There's currently an elite tuner's event for this car. 
And this event does have a timer on it, Izzy's Tuner 3 Challenge, or Izzy's, Izzy's Tuner Challenge 3, I guess you'd say, is up there. And it does have a timer. After that, it'll go away. So if you don't completely finish the event, it's gone. But anyways, we'll do a video about this event tomorrow. Awesome car. I like it a lot. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the little bell. Set those notifications to all. If you want to help support the channel, click the thank you button or the join button down below the video to make a donation or become a channel member. There's some uh, interesting stuff, some game news, some links, some other ways to support the channel down there in the video's description. There's a link to the Discord server, the Danny Mar Lightning merch store, and all kinds of good stuff. So check that out. Lightning out. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Have an awesome day. See ya.